Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 131, Prevent VLOOKUP from Returning Zero. All right, today's question sent in from Brussels, uh, has a uh, data validation here, chooses the uh, from the data validation and has a simple VLOOKUP uh, returning answers. But what happens if he selects an item, for example, model D, where the price has not been filled in yet, it's blank here, we're getting a zero. And instead of a zero, he would like it to say, sorry, but no price yet. Well, hey, I have two quick ideas. Quick idea number one is instead of leaving the cell blank, put your text there and then it will be returned. That's solution number one. I'll control Z to undo that. Solution number two, uh, control one, we'll go to custom number format and for positive numbers, we're going to show zero. For negative numbers, minus zero. And for zero, that's the third zone. Sorry, no price yet. That will prevent the zero from appearing. Click OK. And then the answer will be sorry, no price yet. If we choose something that is positive, we get the answer. There you go. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel absolutely beautiful custom number format. Here's what I love so much about doing these duels. I would have just never thought of using custom number formatting to solve this problem. Absolutely beautiful. VLOOKUP returns a zero. No problem. Get custom number formatting to show the text. Hey, let's come over to this other sheet here. Now, my inclination, well, it's not to do custom number formatting because I just wouldn't have thought of that, but my inclination is usually to change the table. So just as an example, if you had a bunch of empty cells, you could highlight that range, hit F5 for go to, click on special, and then blanks is the word they use in this dialog box to mean, hey, empty cell. So I'm going to click uh, OK, and instantly it highlights all of the empty cells. That light colored cell is the active cell. Just start typing the text you want. Whoops, how about no price or whatever. Now, to populate that, whatever we typed in the cell into all of the highlighted cells, hold Control and Enter. Now, if we select any of the ones with the uh, text, it returns the text instead. Now, I'm going to Control Z, Z. That would be my inclination is to fix the actual table. But if you had to leave them empty, then you can come up here and you could uh, alter the formula. Now, it's a 0 that's causing us to want something different than a 0. It's not an error. So we can't use like if error or is an A or, um, or those type of functions. So we use the if. The problem with a 0, though, is we're going to actually have to run this VLOOKUP twice in our formula. So logical tests, it needs a, a test that goes true or false. So I'm just going to say, hey, when VLOOKUP is equal to 0, that'll be a logical test, comma, the value of true, in double quotes, no, no price. So if you have text in, wow, I cannot type, <laughs> no price, in double quotes, right? Then the value of false, I'm going to have to run that VLOOKUP a second time. And so now if I select G, no price. Here I should turn this speak cells on enter off. Now, you know, there's always more than one way to skin the cat, and especially with the if function and the logical test. Notice it says equals zero. Well, we can take advantage of the fact that the logical test interprets true and false, but it also interprets 0 as false, meaning the number 0, or any non-zero number as true. So watch this. I'm just plopping the VLOOKUP in there. Remember, it's returning in this situation either some non-zero number or, for an empty cell, a 0. So that right there, comma. Value if true. Well, remember, uh, any non-zero number will give us a true, so control V for the value of true. And then if it's false, meaning it comes out to be zero, then we put our text. All righty, always more than one way, especially with the if function and uh, those logical tests. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, my go-to special blanks. 
Ah, I love that trick, didn't even think about it. Uh, but by far my favorite is the equal if VLOOKUP, comma, VLOOKUP, comma, no price. This will confuse the heck out of your coworkers. And that's what I love to do. VLOOKUP, uh, if that returns a zero, it's treated as false and we get the no price. What a beautiful thing. Of course, you still have to do the VLOOKUP twice, but that is a great one. All right, well, hey, I wanna thank everyone for uh, stopping by. Stop back next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun. Hey, Mike, Control Shift Enter, the ebook is out. An amazing, amazing book full of array formulas. In fact, I used one of your array formulas in my podcast this week. Someone coincidentally sent in a question over the week where they had to extract records with a formula based on three criteria, and I pulled out your book, and sure enough, it was there. So I reappropriated that uh, formula in my podcast. Everyone should check out this amazing book on Excel array formulas. From Mike, Excel is fun, and Gervin. Go to MrExcel.com, click on Excel Store, and then eBooks. The uh, print book is being printed right now. Uh, it will be out probably in a couple of weeks. All right.